Hello everyone, this is Keith here, aka GhostGuard57, and today I'm taking a look at the Talos Principle by Crow Team. Now I'm not going to get too much, uh, I'm going to sit around the menu and, uh, you know, talk about the game there. I'm actually going to jump uh, right into the game and start uh, explaining the mechanics and all that. Uh, but while the game's loading, I will say that this game is created by Crow Team, the same developers behind Serious Sam 3, if you've ever, if any of you have ever played, uh, that series. I am playing this game with the Steam controller. It plays fantastically well with the Steam controller. I downloaded the uh, the game actually has its own recommended configuration that it downloads for you. And uh, yeah, it's actually a fantastic controller configuration. And uh, yeah, it has gyroscope, which I've uh, said in previous videos that I actually um, like. So yeah, so the Tales Principle is this sort of uh, puzzle game. It some people uh, say it's. Uh, sort of fresh take on the puzzle genre. I definitely agree, you know, um, a lot of people think, oh, first person, uh, you know, puzzle game, it must be like Portal. Well, not really, not at all, actually. Uh, this game definitely has its very own uh, interesting mechanics and very uh, brain-teasing uh, challenges. So yeah, this is a puzzle that actually took me forever to figure out, but I'm just sort of doing it quickly so you guys can see it. So yeah, uh, you have these, and uh, about every puzzle level, you have these jammers, and what these jammers do is they take down these force fields, they disable enemies, sentries, uh, all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, there was a puzzle piece here, but I've already got it. And that was just sort of a puzzle right there that I showed that was very, uh, took me a little bit to figure out, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and go to an area that I haven't completed yet. So you can uh, see me, you know, hopefully not get stuck. Yeah, the uh, point of every uh, puzzle area is you're supposed to get these sigils so that you can enter the uh, temple of the, your creator. You play as this, if I go to third person here, uh, you play as this sort of uh, robot who has a highly uh, experimental artificial intelligence. And throughout the game, your uh, this uh, person narrates to you. His name is Elohim, which I believe is Hebrew for uh, God. And um, he sort of tells you what your purpose is and what you're supposed to do, and he tells you to enter his temple by collecting these sigils and whatnot. Um, and you also find these terminals, which are actually a sort of nod to Unix and DOX machines. And these also sort of give you uh, sort of snippets of history and just sort of all types of references to Greek mythology and other types of mythology of that nature and you can also find hidden tapes as well like these time castles are called and yeah the game story sort of subtly tells itself to you it's not to end the way which i like you know it just sort of encourages the player to figure out the story for you know him or herself so yeah these things will destroy you so how can i okay yeah as you can see uh, there's no real way to defend yourself. You sort of have to navigate around them, outsmart them. Uh, okay, I'm actually going to use the gyroscope here because it is sort of... Okay, so how can I sneak around this baddie right here? I think if I go ahead, grab this jammer, ba-bam! Uh, and I think... Okay, I see what I'm supposed to do. Go right here. I think I can watch you. Uh, oh wow. Let's see. Oh. I'm gonna be able to do this like that. And then, whoa, that's close. Too close for comfort. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, if I don't commentate much, that is because this game is a puzzle game and it does sort of require a lot of, you know, uh, thinking. You just get this as far close to here as I can to this so I can grab this one so yeah these puzzles are uh, it has the game has a very simplistic easy to understand mechanic um, like portal but the game does such oh I didn't even notice him there oh great now I gotta start from the beginning the game uh, constantly throws these refreshing and interesting uh, new challenges at you using the same mechanics and uh, as the game develops, you know, new mechanics are introduced. And it has a very sort of natural uh, pace to it. And it's just very well made. There's a reason why this game actually has uh, 
uh, very good uh, review scores. This game actually won a couple of awards as being, you know, best puzzle game of the year it came out. And that's because it is definitely a very unique and uh, refreshing experience in the puzzle genres. I don't usually play puzzle games, but I find this game to be incredibly enjoyable, you know, uh, similar with uh, games such as uh, Portal. And you can play in first, first person, third person, however you prefer. Um, the, the third person in this game is vastly superior to the third person in Serious Sam 3, in my opinion, because this game, it's, you know, they, it does over the shoulder much better. Okay, yeah, I see you now. Oh! I thought it was part no. Yeah, so this is what happens. Generally, you know, you get, um, you uh, have these sort of run into all kinds of tiny issues with the level and you sort of have to work your way through them. I'm really horrible at puzzle games, so it's also mostly me being terrible at them. Okay, let's do this. Ah! Uh, I, I do love the uh, sense of speed in this game. It's very sort of, um, if you ever played Serious Sam 3, you know the uh, speed that this game has. And this is only with the speed settings on medium, believe it or not. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait till he's way up there. Then I'm going to do this, and then, oh, oh, there we go. And disable you. Well, let me see something real quick. Well, if I put this down, okay, well, I think what I'm going to do is, go right here, I'm going to let him continue to go. Okay, let's grab this. Can I do this from the gate? No, I cannot. Okay, so I think I got to let him go through there, just like that, then do this. Hurry up, go over here, grab this so he can't come, oh, whoa, he's gonna, ah, <laughs> uh, I think that's it right there, yeah, there's the situation, <laughs> oh man, it's getting really tense there, because he does look like he's actually coming back, um, so yeah, that's just a really good example of a, of a sort of brain teaser that this game has, and there's all kinds of other secrets in the other overworld that you can find, um, and yeah, the environments are actually really beautiful, like the anti-aliasing is actually pretty good on uh, a lot of the textures and performance is okay as well. Uh, it's about it performs about as well as Serious Sam 3. You can see I have the FPS counter up there. It's not constantly 60, but uh, it is good enough. And you know I have everything relatively high, um, not all the way max, but I do have things turned up pretty high. This is also the first game to support the Vulcan API. And I did install the Vulkan beta drivers and uh, give it a go. The Vulkan uh, renderer is definitely not there yet, but uh, it's already performing pretty well, given that it's in beta. So there we go, go through here. And I think if I go through here, it'll, yeah, it'll block it. Hmm. This is an interesting conundrum. Oh, I already know what I'm supposed to do, though. There's no bars on this one, so we can just spam. I think with this one, I can, uh, here, it's just, hmm, yeah, there's definitely lots of references to sort of, uh, Greek mythology and, uh, kinds of other, uh, mythologies of that nature, uh, where, hmm, Sigil's right there, I think what I'm supposed to do, is this right here uh, I'm not I don't think I can grab this from here oh wait. Wait, wait, wait I have an idea grab this and right there there we go yeah See, just things like that. The game, uh, like I said, the puzzles are simple, but they they can sort of stunt you for a, a little bit, definitely. Um, and once you have all the sigils, you can actually go to different areas of the game and unlock them. Uh, and it, you have this neat little uh, puzzle. Let me see if I can't figure out where A is locked at and uh, unlock it. It's actually, I think it's in the main overworld. Let me return back here to the temple, and this will, uh, where is a, whoa, frame rate, yeah, but once you get enough, uh, pieces here, they give you this sort of, uh, puzzle, like, right here, 
And once you have the essential pieces, you just um, slap them in there. You just need little uh, puzzles. See, everything's a puzzle in this game. I think I'm... Oh, God. Oh, God. How do I... How do I do it? Oh, there we go. There you go. That's a new area unlocked and more puzzles. Weird! Yeah, as you can see, there's definitely a lot of... Uh, a lot of areas, as you can see in this game. Each of these teleports you to a different island where there are uh, multiple, multiple puzzles. And, of course, you unlock whatever these are. They appear to be some type of rotating things. So, yeah, that's uh, the Talos Principle. Uh, it's a very, very fun game. If you're a fan of uh, first-person puzzle games um, or any uh, Crow Team's games, such as the Serious Sam games, you know, this isn't exactly an action-packed, uh, game, but it's definitely a uh, very uh, relaxing and enjoyable uh, game, you know, despite getting blown up by horrible death orbs. Uh, it supports the Steam Controller really well. In fact, it even has an official, like, Steam Controller option in the options menu. And yeah, and you do that, and uh, if you're in big picture mode, it'll actually open the big, uh, big picture overlay so you can configure the Steam Controller. Um, but I'm actually playing it without big picture. Uh, and yeah, like it supports multiple languages, which is pretty cool. Definitely wow, a lot of them actually. Whoa. Uh, and you have a lot of options you can tweak in performance. Um, yeah, overall, it's just a really fantastic game. I definitely recommend this game uh, for anyone who's a fan of puzzle games or even really who just everyone is looking for a, a decent game to play. Uh, this game is currently on sale at the time uh, I'm making this video. It's about on sale for about $10, which I think for the content you get and the amount of work they put in this game, it is definitely worth it in my opinion. So anyway, yeah, this has been Keith, aka Ghost Squad 57 in this video. I used an NVIDIA GTX uh, 970, uh, standard clock speed, and I used my Intel uh, i7-4970K as my processor. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Keith, signing out.